35 years. And as a result, it represents one of the country's greatest assets. Indeed, it is Kenya and Nigeria who are in this category, and we see it as an asset. Strategic investment in human capital and the policy decisions will determine the development trajectory of Kenya for the next 50 years. And in so doing, position the country to become a stronger, more unified, and influential global player and partner, as envisioned in Vision 2030. Kenya uh, is described as a country on the path to population age structure that may enable it to achieve a demographic dividend. The potential economic growth that a country can experience following a decline in birth and death rate leading to a larger proportion of working uh, age young adults and fewer elderly dependents. With a devolved system of government, bringing 47 governments and one national government, county government and one national government, but one nation, the Council of Governors has developed county performance management framework that focuses on strengthening performance management of human capital investment in order to improve the lives of our children and youth. Ultimately, maximizing demographic dividends for long-term economic growth. Ladies and gentlemen, all county governments cumulatively budgeted and allocated roughly 2.5 billion in the year 2020-2021, this financial year, to enhance access to quality training and optimal service delivery in county vocational training centers by the youth. Additionally, all county governments received cumulatively two billion as a conditional grant to rehabilitate and renovate infrastructure in the county vocational training centers. As a result of the cumulative investment of 4.5 billion, therefore, by counties, total trainee enrollment in the county vocational training center has increased by 11 percent to 150,460 trainees, up from 135,550 in 2019. This impressive growth in the vocational training centers, which are catering for youth, will translate to more wealth and, and employment empowerment from VTCs, vocational training centers. Ladies and gentlemen, Another positive measure county governments are focusing on is domesticating the Kenya National Youth Development Policy of 2019 into county youth development policies to guide youth engagement at the county level. Currently, 29 countries have passed the registration and policies. The youth are currently engaged in various initiatives in the county in the counties, including youth representation in elective leadership and involvement in community waste management and environmental conservation programs. Way forward. One, to realize the country's demographic dividend, potential coordinated efforts are needed at both national and county levels. Two, County governments are committed to making the right investment choices to improve their human capital. These choices can sometimes be hindered by inadequate data. More often than not, counties lack relevant, timely, and accurate data for priority setting, measuring progress, and identifying bottlenecks in implementation, uh, which, uh, as, which, which, which will have to be addressed for better results going forward. And number three, Socioeconomic inequalities and disparities, as well as geographical differences across the 47 counties in Kenya, demanding county specific information to drive localized decision making on the appropriate investment that needs to be made by both the national and county governments. With the data, much of the work done by counties remains hidden. In conclusion, Chairman, let me state that harnessing population dynamics necessitates smart investment in public and social policies with quality implementation 
to ensure that the emerging generation of youth is fully equipped to contribute productively. There is need for clear policies that address the rapid and sustained population explosion in order to address quality human capital and high quality jobs. A combination of policies in health, education, governance, and economy is needed to empower the country's human capital. The desired economic development is only possible if a country has a healthy, well-educated, and skilled workforce with access to decent jobs. Asanteni sana, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Governor Ambora, for a short, crisp, and extremely relevant contribution. Thank you. In fact, your contribution lays a very, very good foundation mm. for the next speaker, who is uh, Deputy Governor of Laikipia, Mr. John Mwaniki. Very good. I am glad that the two of you are coming in at this time. Yes. Because from the keynote address, something caught my mind. Yes. That the population must be put at the center mm -hmm. of development. Absolutely. A lot of time when we say that, we usually talk to the national government. This is our first opportunity to put this in front of the level of county government. Honorable uh, Maniki, it is your turn. Short introduction. And to build on Governor Mbora, to convince that in Kenya, this level of governance, the county level, really has population focused on its side mm -hmm. as it develops this country. 